my mom and dad and aunts and uncles went to this school. And the sled riding hill at the bottom was actually the football field. I mean, so all these, this is generational. And, you know, it, it's just, it's our history. And it seems like for years, the twins for government has ripping, been ripping down and allowing our historical things to be ripped down. I mean, I lived in the two houses beside the historical society, not the Freeman house, but the other two, a couple times. I mean, we moved a lot, but, you know, there's all these old houses, and then there was one court there that had, you know, the Wilcott, Mr. Wilcott lived back there with his printing. I mean, there was, everything's gone. All of our, I mean, really, there is no historic district left because they've ripped everything out. And it's, I mean, if this is our historical, this is our historic district. This is the only thing we have left aside from um, the houses, a few houses around. Yeah. It, it makes no sense right. that we have a historical district in the oldest building, close to the oldest yeah. building in town. The city is leaning towards pushing down and knocking yeah. over. The, the city saying there's no historic district is like the Menendez brothers saying they're orphans. This is our historic district. <laughs> I mean, this is, I think, and then I think people are afraid that they can't find city hall. That, you know, that <laughs> what's <laughs> one, what's my <laughs> <laughs> There are many other communities who have taken old school buildings like this and make community centers on the short community center. I believe it's Murray Hill, which is a great one. I didn't even get to, to many of them. And once they're gone, it's nothing. That's right. Not even a memory, and, a, and a, don't put it this way, a very vague memory in most people's minds. And that's a big, big problem.